Hey, what's up everyone? Uh, today we're going to be opening 345 metallic Aurorian crates right here. Uh, we farmed 12,014 mobs for all of these crates right here. Well, 338 technically. I was gifted 7 by uh, some wonderful people. And uh, we're also going to regrade this epic flute after we open all these. So, without further ado, let's go. So, we're um, going to see everything that we get right here. And uh, inventory's been cleared out, so... <sighs> we'll see what we get. So, this is, um, what, 4.0 update, like, 3 to the Metallic Roaring Crates. So the drop rate got increased. And supposedly the drops within the Metallic Crates were also increased. So, you know, so far we've opened... Alright, there we go. There's some superior fire to the Lunar Rite. And uh, it gave about 8 gold. I don't know, it's going really fast. I guess I could uh, stretch it out. Well, that's as far as it'll go. But alright, so we got 8 uh, superior fire glow the Lunar Rite. And it takes 20 to make a tier 2 gem. And in 4.5, hey, we just got uh, 9 more. Cool. And about 9 gold for it. But in uh, 4.5, it'll take 50 superior Lunarites to make a tier 3 gem. I think a red's checking me out right here. So yeah, if you're on the east side, say hi to UND. They're uh, hanging out here. Alright, so we've got some more Fire Glow Lunarite. It's a Fire Glow kind of day, you know? Uh, we've definitely gotten a huge amount of uh, Copper Glow Lunarite, the fine one, but I don't know. Still got a lot of boxes to open. So yeah, um, uh, there we go. There's some Superior Copper Glow. Not a ton of gold from them, but you know, hey, just as long as you get a lot of them, that's good. So I didn't quite stream like the full seven days that I thought I would. Honestly, because I have other interests right now, and it was just getting to, uh, I don't know, monotonous, honestly. So we got a moon point. That's okay. I don't know if I'll be using those anytime soon. Let's see here. I really don't have much uh, to talk about, honestly. So, um, you know, I, uh, did make a little spreadsheet that's really, really not that great. But, uh, you know, just kind of gave your, uh, kill totals. Hey, there we go. There's a big one. We got 333 gold from that. From those, uh, 17 superior Lunarites. Nice. Alright, so there's a little mini jackpot right there. Only took 140 crates to get it. <laughs> oh, that's okay, though. So, wow, I, I don't know if I'm just getting extremely lucky right now by getting a ton of Fire Glow Lunarite and not as much um, Copper Glow, like the superior wise. But uh, it's pretty crazy. Because, as far as I'm concerned, the superior Fire Glow is still worth um, the most. So, right now, I could make one tier 3 gem out of 180 crates. That, uh, that's. That's what our uh, our conversion rate is right now. There we go. There's some wave glow. Now I've been reading where a lot of people were saying that um, they're having a hard time getting a superior wave glow to drop. Well, at least we got eight right now. <laughs> it's actually on par with the copper glow, which is the most common. Supposedly. There we go. There's seven more. See if we can get another big jackpot. That'd be cool if we did. But yep, so I farmed these uh, 12,014 mobs just to kind of give you guys an idea of how much you would have to actually farm, like kill wise, to, um, you know, get the metallic crates. And, you know, what the Lunar Rite you get from them. And how much did I spend on keys? I spent about probably 4... I, I should have calculated it, but 
I crafted and bought a lot of keys just now. I spent about 4,000 gold just to get all the um, all the keys that I needed. Alright, so back to back points. I don't know what that means. We're getting close to finishing here. 80 crates left. And it looks like this is all that we're going to be getting. And then uh, I'll regrade this flute and uh, you guys will see it go mythic and I'll be really happy. And then you guys can see how much gold I got from opening all of these um, metallic crates and I'll go over, you know, how much uh, the Lunarite is worth. Oh, hey, some star points. That's really cool. You know, hey, they, they, they said that they nerfed the uh, drop rate of the star points and stuff and, and all this jazz. But, you know, we still got eight superior wave glow Lunarite. XD. Thanks, XL. And in their defense, they did definitely uh, increase the drop rates because my previous video where I opened um, like 120 crates uh, when the patch came out, 4.0 like in December, there's a huge difference uh, compared to then. And again, I'm opening three times some amount of crates, but... Um, making the comparison, there we go, eight more superior fire glow. Making the comparison is, uh, whew, this is a lot better. All right, come on, a big one. The last one be big. Oh, okay. So, that was it. That was 345 crates. And, uh, yellow. Let's go here. Let's see what happens. And enchant! Ah! Ah! Alright, that was fun. So we got uh, 2,624 gold, 88 silver, and 29 copper from opening 345 metallic roaring crates. Now, let's take a quick look here at how much these are going for. Oh, okay. Huh? <laughs> uh okay so if we were to sell all the superior fire glue lunarite that we just got and let's say uh let's undercut them by nine gold we would get twelve thousand two hundred and forty gold okay so i definitely profited off of um the uh <laughs> Off of buying the keys, so about an 8k profit just from the superior fire glow alone. Wow, copper glow lunarite is 24 gold each. Woo! I'm glad I didn't buy any. <laughs> and uh, wave glow is at 54, well, 55 gold each. So there's um, 439 gold, just about 400 gold. So that's about what you can expect. Um, price wise here I'm not going to tally it all up in my head but yeah that's what we got 5 gold 6 gold 1 gold 30 silver okay alright so that's what you get from opening 345 metallic roaring crates as of now so anyway thank you guys for watching and uh, you guys take care and have a wonderful day I'll see you later